So here we go. My little girl. Well, my big girl. Has just done her pre-lay shed. Look at her. She's glowing. So there's her shed. So I'll be expecting eggs in one month from now. So this is when I need to make sure the incubator is working perfectly. Leave her to it. Don't want to stress her out. Need to get the shed out. So here's Aphrodite. She's due to lay in about, um, I think around about 10 days. As you can see, she's wrapped up in that nice, nice circle. She's moved all the substrate away so she's on the heat. That's what they like to do, the heat seek uh, just before they lay the eggs. I don't know if you can see, but her spine has started to uh, show, protrude, which is another sign that she's uh, coming close to laying. But like I said, she's still got about 10 days, but it can go over, but it's looking good, it's looking good. I'll leave her to it, don't want to stress her out too much. But yeah, that's what she's looking like now. What is up, people? You're watching Life of Kush, back finally. So as you've seen in the little clips before, you can see Aphrodite is moving through the stages nicely. So my first breeding season is looking good. It's looking good so far, should I say. Um, what a little surprise. So I woke up today, checked on Aphrodite, because I've been checking on her every day, once or twice a day, just to make sure she's all right, see if uh, anything's happening. And I've woke up early today. I don't usually wake up early. I've got nothing else to do. And to my surprise, I see little white things in the tub. Oh, no, they're not that little. But I made it, I wanted to make it so. Anyway, that's details. She's laying the eggs. She's laying them. So now if I've got, I don't know, it's, I'm excited, but I'm stressed at the same time because now I want to, I need to wait for her to lay all the eggs so I can then go and, Kidnap the eggs, sorry to put it like that, but take the eggs to put them in incubation. So that is what you're going to see next. And then as I do that, I'll talk you through my incubator. It would have been a different separate video, but it's just not. Stuff's happened. It is what it is. You know what I mean? I can't help that. So, uh, yeah, it's good times. Good times. I don't know how many eggs she's got. I think I might have seen four or five not too sure so uh yeah exciting times we'll just have to come back in a bit get me so it's time here we go i'm gonna take about to take the eggs off it's my first look it looks like there's six eggs they look all nice no slugs which is good okay never been bit by aphrodite but today could be the day so there we go the eggs look nice there's a little bit of a boo bag that i can see but it's not a full boo bag Oi. so what i need to do is that then get her tail the back of her tail and then just nicely unhook her there we go i'm also going to fill to make sure there's no eggs left in her which i can't feel nothing i've just moved my hand down um after i do all this i will be giving her a little clean otherwise she'll still smell the eggs on her so i'm just going to put her in there I'm gonna put this cover over her to make her feel a bit safer, you know? I have just taken her eggs. People might ask, why have you taken her eggs? It's not natural. They're not in a natural environment and things can fluctuate. So incubator is the best way. So here's the eggs. You see them? So there's looking like there's Three of them go into a point, 
don't know if that will uh, be anything. I think Aphrodite came from one of those eggs, but so I'm going to weigh them. Here we go. I'll weigh them for my records. They feel crazy. Six eggs, 596 grams, about 100 grams each. That's nice weight, I think. <laughs> First time, you know. So 596, quickly put that in my records. Okay, so for our first clutch, that's not bad, that's not bad. Here's the incubator. Just get the egg box out. Oh, yeah. Trying to do this as quick as possible just because I don't want them out in the cold too much. It's not cold in there, but yeah. Okay. Let's see. I do have the candle as well. get this one off and then the next one because it is a bit high how it's positioned will it be all right let's see i can see veins i can't see on the video no so. because it's too okay. light in there yeah if you come here you might be able to see this one see the veins on that yeah i think i seen it on that yeah one. but what i'm trying to do is get the embryo at the top so we'll leave you here a second right, so here they are i found the embryos all of them <laughs> it was all the wrong way so i've had to redo them so i put the tiniest black dot on where the embryo is in each egg. I'm just gonna place it like that. And then I've got these, which hopefully will keep the eggs from moving. Talk you through my incubator. There we go. I need to put the um, things back in as well. Put the thermometers back in. Oh gosh. Boy. Stress over. Well, stress has just started. Should I stop? Yeah. So I've checked um <clears throat> I've checked Aphrodite out. I've cleaned her, cleaned her enclosure. Uh there's definitely no more eggs in her. That was it. <clears throat> and she's doing fine. Here's a clip of her now. See? Aphrodite is doing fine. She's just getting some water. Just getting some water on you, baby. Thirsty. Yeah. In a new, in well, same enclosure, but. So, um, I've cleaned it out, disinfected it. I've cleaned her off. And she's fine now. She's getting that water. I'll leave you to it. I was just showing everyone that you're fine. Yeah. They're probably worried about you. But she's all right. My little warrior baby <laughs> yeah so uh she probably won't eat for a little bit but she'll probably eat sooner than 
<clears throat> she would if she was incubating eggs herself. So that's a good thing. So there's a couple re Calm down, Jinx. One sec. Jinx. She's an old one. She's 14. Okay, cool. Fine. You can come here. So the reason why we take the eggs from her, it's not that we're being horrible. People say in nature, but we're not in nature. This isn't the wild. It's like, you know, so it doesn't really apply in nature. There would be the weather <clears throat> and whatnot. But um, so the first reason is throughout the two months that she'd be incubating them, if uh, I left them in with her, she wouldn't eat. So she was that's not eating for two months. So taking them away allows her, she probably will eat sooner than, you know, two months. I don't know if they drink during, or I guess they, I'm not too sure about that. I haven't really heard or read up about it. And also another thing is keeping the 100% humidity and the right temperature for those two months in the enclosure is difficult. It is, it can be done, but, um, it is difficult, so it's just safer to take them out and put them... Come here, then. Safer to take them out and put them in the incubator, to be honest. Uh, obviously, things can go wrong with the incubator, but it's a, it's a more foolproof plan, if you understand. Um, but, yeah. That's it, really. Um, it's, yeah. So, I'll talk, um, talk you through my incubator now. I'm not going to show you the inside, because... It's getting back up to temperature because the box was obviously a bit cold because I took it out and had it out for a little bit. So it's just getting back up to temperature now. But I'll talk you through the outside and I'll talk you. I'll show you the outside and I'll talk you through what's inside. So as you would have seen, it's an igloo um, ice cooler chest. I've got the 120 quart because I was thinking of further uh, projects. I didn't really need the size. Could have got a smaller one, but I don't have the space to just buy more, you know, as I go up. So I thought I'd just start this one. I've um drilled some holes in there, but then I've taped them up. But then I've um poked through some of them just so air can go in and out. And then I've got two thermostats, but one's working on as, as a thermometer, one's working as a thermostat. So that's the thermostat. That's connected to an aquarium heater and is that's the water temperature and then this one is the egg box temperature so as you can see it's just still getting back up to uh back up to the temperature i've also around here got another thermometer inside the egg, egg box and then this one tells me the temperature of the air in there so as you can see it's 30.3 at the moment it, it's still going up um yeah but it's quite easy setup i've got two aquarium heaters but i only need one but if one breaks then i'll just plug plug the plugs down there i'll just take that plug out and plug that one in so quite easy and then uh i've got an air pump pumping the water around inside it should create some uh make yeah air exchange gas exchange whatever keep the air going around um and then obviously i've got a panel big panel of this sitting on some <laughs> ikea cups which is what the egg box is on so yeah it's quite a quite an easy setup to be honest you can be in this one so um there's two things i'd say about the incubator one make sure you keep it in the cooler part of the house not too cool but yeah, because it, when 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 it's hot outside, I'd say over twenty six to over twenty seven. Even in my living room, which is the cooler place, gets hot, and it does start to go up a bit. Which I then just um open open a little bit and wedge it open a, a slight slightly, and it uh keeps temperature nice. Also, because I moved it down to the living room in the at night. It goes down really cold. So I've uh, got a oil heater and I just keep, keep the room about 22, 23 degrees. And then that keeps temperature nicely. So yeah, you wanna aim for somewhere, if you can get somewhere where that stays 22, 23 degrees, 
it works like a charm but it's only when it starts getting really hot outside or really cold where you're gonna have to make slight changes but except from that it's fine the water inside keeps the humidity going through um keeps 100 percent humidity and yeah i've seen other people use it as well that's where i've obviously got my idea online well on youtube and yeah they've had a uh, success so we'll have to see two months just over two months maybe because i'm incubating at a bit lower temperature and yeah we'll see how many hatch and we'll see what i get so until then you've been watching life of kush jinx just clean herself you nasty yeah and i am kush so until next time i'll catch you in a bit